What's up everyone, Danny here, continuing our substance painter journey. Just like I mentioned in the last video, these are just gonna be a series of videos where I talk about specific techniques, if you will, specific functions that I um, typically use on most assets that I'm texturing in Substance Painter. This isn't going to be a start to finish tutorial as that would be several hours long. And I don't think anyone wants to sit uh, and watch a five hour YouTube video. So, bit of business before we jump into this. I am on Patreon now, as mentioned in the last video. If you feel like supporting me and the videos that I'm making and you want to do so on Patreon, that'd be freaking awesome. If not, no worries. If you want to support me just here on YouTube and you subscribe or give me a like or things like that, I appreciate that too. In fact, I appreciate all the support I get from all of my uh, subscribers and everything. I'm humbled by the support that I have thus far. So thank you very much for that. And by the way, there'll be links in the descriptions for all that stuff. Anyway, let's move into this. In the last video, I talked about importing PBR texture sets um, from various sources, free and paid. So if you haven't seen that video and you're curious as to how to import a PBR texture set into Substance Painter to use in your texturing process, check that video out. I'll put a card up somewhere here, um, but Check that out and then come back to this one if you're interested. Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about importing brush alphas. It pretty much works the same way, but I'm gonna walk through it anyway because this is just part of my process. I do this on every project I work on. I import whatever PBR textures I'm going to use and, and then I, more times than not, will import my own brush alphas. Substance Painter has a lot built in. You're definitely not gonna go wrong just using default Substance Painter alphas. There's tons of them. Um, but if you like using your own or you want to make your own, then knowing how to work with them in Substance Painter is, is great. Okay, so let's do that. Just like before, I'm going to go to my folder. Now, in this case, this is the uh, the current 20 grunge brush alphas that I currently have available on Gumroad and again, free to patrons. And these are a set of 20 uh, 4K um, brush alphas that I made um, for texturing and you can use these, I use these in Blender, you can use these in Substance Painter, you can use this in uh, um, any texture painting program or even Photoshop, doesn't matter. So let's say I want to use, I'm just going to pick a couple of them here, let's say I want to use number 7, uh, 18, and 13, right? So let's say those are the three, or they could be all 20, doesn't matter. I'm going to drag these in just like I did before and then Substance Painter is going to ask me to um, define them. So right now it just sees PNGs and it doesn't know what to do. So before we selected texture, now we're going to select alpha. Okay. Now there's a difference and I'll, I'll cycle back to this in a, in a second because alpha and texture will do two different things, right? And you should know what the differences are. So we're going to cycle back to this right now. We're going to use alpha and I'm going to import them into this project. Now I can see them here. Here they are, right? Imported, I think this is recently. Okay, now this is important and I wanna demonstrate this. Watch what happens. Now let's say I wanna paint over my previously imported wood texture, right? So I'm gonna make sure I'm on that texture set. I'm gonna add a new uh, fill layer and I'm gonna call this one paint. Now I know I'm not gonna need the normal opacity emission metal um, I am going to keep um, roughness, height, and color though. And let's just make the color, I don't know, doesn't really matter. I'm going to give it like, kind of like a blue-gray. That would be like my base paint. Bring my roughness way up, and I'm not going to do anything with height at the moment. Okay. Now I want to paint this. Now this isn't an, going to be an exact like, uh, you know, texture painting tutorial. This is more or less focused on the assets. So I'm not going to go into this in a whole lot of detail. I'm going to add a mask and a... Um, and a paint layer here, okay? Now you can see as I'm painting, this is just a default brush. Now, like I said, Substance Painter ships with a lot of its own brushes. If I scroll down here to Alpha, right? And I try to take one of these, I drop this in there. See the little icon right there? It changed. Now, if I were to paint this now, right? You can even see the icon. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Let's see if I can just scale it up here, hang on. You can see the icon looks a little different. If you look at this, you can see, right? 
it's kind of like a, got like a grungy brush, right? If I drag a different one in here, say this one, now I'm painting with this one. And I can adjust all kinds of things in here, you know. Um, I can adjust if it, uh, you know, if it's got flow jitter, side jitter. I'm not going to get into that right now because, again, this is just about importing. I get into this more when I talk about you know, actual texturing. But for now, it was just the importing. Okay. Now, that's how you import those. Now, if you were to import these as textures, not alphas, Substance Painter is going to treat them a little differently. And to show that, I'll import another one. So I'll take one and I'll bring one in. But one, I'm going to say it's a texture. Same thing. Okay, these are all my project textures. There it is. Okay, so there's project one or brush one. You see how it won't let me? Okay, Substance Painter is not looking at this as an alpha. It's looking at it as a texture. So it's not going to let me put it here. So make sure that when you're importing alphas, that you define them as alphas, not textures. Um, they work differently here. You can see it will not let me put it in there. What it will let me do, and it doesn't really apply for this kind of for this purpose, but it will let me put it in to stencil. And then you would get this. And again, this is going to be a, a, a topic, you know, a, a different conversation. Um, on working with um, stencils. Um, but that's how you would import a stencil as a texture, right? But that's not what we want, right? It's an alpha. So just make sure that when you import it, you import it as, um, as an alpha, not a texture, or it will not work for you. All right, that is pretty much it. I'm just gonna cycle my way back to my, there it is, to my alphas. And that's pretty much how you do it, right? Define them as alphas and Start painting, yay! And again, this isn't gonna be specific on how I do the painting, we can, do, we can discuss that later, but that's just how you import them. Cool, hope you found that useful, hope you can use it. If you're interested in the brushes, I'll put a link in the description, they're on Gumroad, and again, free to patrons. Um, so have fun with them if you end up getting them. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments or on Facebook or Discord, whatever. All right guys, until the next one, see ya.